In this video, I will talk about injecting HTTP REST headers in Spring REST controller. I've written a blog post on my website justamonet.com and I will be adding this link to the show notes. Being said that, let us move to Eclipse and let me show you the interface and the implementation I've written. The interface name is iHello or Hello interface and the request mapping is done for the path slash v1 slash hello. Now I've declared several different methods over here and I will go over them one by one. So in order to extract headers, we have to use something called as at request header parameter and provide the data type for those headers. So there are multiple ways to do it. One way to do it is to extract all headers into map interface. Another way would be to use multi-valued map and one more way is to use HTTP headers class of Spring. Now, let's say that if you want to inject only one HTTP header, you can use request header and name as request ID. So the name of the request header and you will get the request header over here. Now be careful when you do this and if this header is not passed in the request, then you will get bad request error. HTTP status is bad request. Being said that, let's say that you want a header, but it may or may not be passed always. What you can do is you can provide add request header, provide the name and another parameter as required equal to false. So by default required is set to true, but you can set it as false and get the ID. One more way to get one specific header would be to provide the name and provide the default value. Default value will be used only if the request header does not exist. If the header is not passed, then default value will be used, else it will use the header that is used by the client. For the REST API calls, what we will do is we'll go ahead and use our Postman calls. So I have Postman set up for all the APIs. And here is the implementation, hello impl. This class is annotated with address controller and all the methods are implemented over here. The only thing I'm doing is I'm printing out all the headers and I'm returning the request ID that came in the request. Now remember, I'm not passing any JSON response or something like that. Only thing that being that is being passed is the plain text with HTTP status as 200 or OK. Now let me run this code. Spring Boot module application run as Java application. Let me close this. Close. So let us run slash all headers map. All headers map. The headers that are being passed are host, user agent, and all these headers. And we are passing request ID as UUID or global unique identifier. Sent. So we got response as plain text request ID and some id now let us check our eclipse output so in eclipse output we are printing all the headers that we sent from postman so this was about getting all headers in map of string and string now let's say you have a request where you will get list of string how can you do that so in order to do that you can use multi-valued map let me show you how to do that this is the post postman request all headers multi-valued map and over here I'm passing three GUIDs. So this will be converted into list. Let me show you that. Send request IDs and this is list of request IDs. Over here, if you see it has printed all the request IDs too. Let us take the third one. So this is about injecting HTTP headers class. HTTP header class provides a rich set of methods over here and it is a mutable class so be careful while using it let's let's use this api all headers http headers now all headers http headers class extends multi-valued map which means that key can be some form of let's say string value can be list of string so let us run this and we got all headers as request id so we got this request IDs, user agent, and all other headers that we sent out. 
now let us go ahead and use this method say hello specific header which means we are extract, extracting out only one header called as request id and what i will do is i will provide the request id header as well as we will remove this request id header and see what response we get back so let us use that one header and send right so i was providing guid so we got the guid back let's say we don't provide guid now remember by default the add request header parameter has this value set as true which means that this parameter must exist if it doesn't exist then it will throw bad request error so let's see if it is throwing bad request error and yes it did that it threw bad request error missing request header request id for method parameter of type string if you go to status 400 bad request over here right moving on optional header so now what we have done is we have marked in code we have done we have provided this request request id as required equal to false so it can be present and if it is not present let it go it won't fail with bad error message let us try that out request id is provided id is over here remove that id sent so it said null and status came back as 200 which is fine this was expected that this particular request id header for this api is not at all compulsory in final method what we are saying is that i want value of this request id header and if it is not passed provide the default value and the default value would be default hyphen value so over here we are providing guid as request id let us remove this header and our output should be request id colon default hyphen value default hyphen value that is all on injecting these different headers what i will go ahead and do is i will provide the github links for this interface class and the maven module that we have been using and you can try it out in your local machine thank you